today's lecture will be on Indian Councils Act 1892 of Module 5 Constitutional History of India. This act was enacted on June 20th 1892 by the British Parliament. There were two primary reasons for enactment of this act. First was to increase the representation of Indian people in the government of India. and to increase the size of legislative council and include these indian people into the legislative council amongst many features of the act the primary ones are the act provided for additional members in the central as well as provincial legislative council compared to the 1861 act the numbers were increased in both the central and the legisl- provincial legislative councils of the members the power of the council were also increased where members could now discuss on the budget without the right to vote on it with a limited powers and with, with limited rights they could now also uh, seek and ask questions on domestic matters and matters of public interest with prior permissions of the governor general further the governor general and council was empowered to make rules for nomination of the members subject to approval of the secretary of state of india unlike the act of 1861 a system of indirect election was introduced to elect the members of the council now the universities district board municipalities zamindars and chambers of commerce were empowered to recommend members to the provincial councils this system was not present in the act of 1861 and this is one of the reasons why this act included this provision of indirect election and this is a very important feature of this particular act and noteworthy feature for the students functions of the provincial legislative council were enlarged uh, as far as the 1861 act uh, says their powers were restored after 1833 and by the act of 1892 their functions were enlarged now they can repeal the old laws and make new laws without prior with prior permissions of the governor general significance of the act is very important from the point of view examination and very noteworthy for the students uh, in this lecture this uh, the first primary significance was because of indirect elections of the members of the legislative council compare comparing to the act of 1862 where the members of the legislative council were nominated by the governor general in this particular act the members of the legislative council were indirectly elected and this was the beginning of the representative government in india however this system prevented a direct contact between public and the representative because this was an indirect election not a direct election this also served as a reason behind the rise of militant nationalism in the coming times where it fueled the independence movement in india but uh, however it was it uh, provided a opportunity f- opportunities for indians to be a member of the council and bring their questions and their voices into the government and this was the first step towards the set- setting up of a parliamentary type government in india Thank you.